everybody and welcome to Digital Discovery, our exploration of the collections of the museum for you, our early learners. My name is Liz and I'm the Early Education Specialist here at Berkshire Museum and I'm going to guide you on today's discovery. So let's just jump right on in. Hi everybody and welcome to today's Digital Discovery. We're going to talk about music. Now, in order to play music, you have to play a musical instrument. And in order to play a musical instrument, you have to play musical notes. They kind of go together. There's a lot of different musical notes out there. A few are a whole note, and a half note, and a quarter note. <laughs> Yeah, these are all musical notes and there's so much more than that. And depending on what you play on your instrument depends on the music that comes out of it. They're connected. You have to play a musical note to get music to come out. And I think that's so neat. When making music, it's all up to you. But why not together we think of a couple musical instruments that make music and use those musical notes. We can think of some easy ones Ones that are on top of our head? Mm-hmm. No, not right there. I mean like guitars, drums, or pianos. We think of those often. And leveling up, there's a few more. Uh, there's like basses and violins and flutes. Mm -hmm. And then there's more instruments on top of that. Ones we don't think of very often. Think of the timpani, the big drums. Mm -hmm. How about a cello, which is that you play here? <laughs> Yeah, and even a tuba, a really big brass instrument that you have to hold and press the valves and blow into it. <laughs> but there's so many more out there. We could talk about music and musical instruments for a really long time. But you know what? We actually have some musical instruments in our collections at Berkshire Museum. One of my absolute favorites we have in our collection is this tuba. Yeah, it's a really cool tuba. One, because it's a musical instrument and makes beautiful music, but also because it has these sketchings on the side of it that were used to represent every battle in which this tuba was played. Yeah, battle, like fighting battle. This tuba was played on the sidelines of the Civil War. Now because of these markings and because of the story it tells, this tuba is a unique piece that we have in our collections. But how about today for our digital discovery adventure, we make our own instruments. We can't always get uh, a hold of big ones like this tuba or pianos or our own drum sets, um, but we can make ones at home that are just as fun. So you can either make a guitar or you can make a drum set or you can make both. It's up to you. I did. <laughs> so let me show you my guitar. <laughs> this is my little guitar. See, it plays beautiful music. All it took was a box I had around the house, a paper towel roll, didn't have one, had half of one, some tape and some string, and just a little bit of hard work together, I made my own guitar. And I can play it all day long. But there's also another instrument that we can play. Drums! Yeah, this one was a lot easier. This one I just grabbed a mug and a chapstick, and together, based on where you hit it, makes different noises. How cool is that? And together at home, I have all of the musical instruments I ever need. So how about you make your own? Get creative and enjoy discovering, guys. Bye.